In our second step here, we will enter buildings and uh, we will enter an HVAC uh, point sources on top of the, uh, the uh, school building. So again, uh, we go back to the editor. Here's our geometry, um, aerial map, and uh, we see the uh, turbo information, the spot elevation over the terrain. And um, at this point, uh, I select a, the object uh, building right here. And it's right now turned on with the um, uh, rectangular mode, so we can basically only digitize in rectangle uh, with rectangular corners. So we can get that turned on. So we start with the first corner, maybe somewhere down here. The building is uh, six meter in height, so we can uh, leave that. Uh, I'll actually change it to five meter. Go to the second point here, third point, and fourth point. And by double clicking on the last point, um, it uh, basically uh, closes the building and we see kind of like it's a rectangular building. At this point I want to actually change uh, the settings in terms of the output. Um, we have, uh, we can change that the building, uh, let's uh, turn off the, uh, the shading and I want to make it like a blue maybe with hatching. And I I do that so I can actually see the uh, the um, the building in the background and the HVAC system. Later on, we can turn that on with a solid color, but at this point, uh, I'll just want to have the hatched shading. So the next step is uh, we put in this building. So I'll maybe start right here. That's uh, the principal's building here. Alright, and uh, next step, we put in point sources. So here I point sources, point source icon, and I start with the first point source uh, right here. And uh, the building was 6 meters in height, so we'll put it 7 meters above the ground. And uh, we use a reference spectrum, and um, this is actually already has the reference spectrum. But let me just copy that uh, from Excel spreadsheet. We can uh, highlight the spectrum here, in this case from 63 to 8 kilohertz. I, I copy it and we can just paste it right in here. Control D. And here's the spectrum. So the, the total sound power is 99 decibels, 99.5. Click OK. So it uses that reference spectrum. And uh, if we want, we can keep the, the 99.5, uh, but in case we have a different uh, information from the manufacturer, let's say he says it's running at 95 dB sound power level, we can just define it as 95 decibels. Uh, at this point, uh, I forgot to set the, the periods, the time periods. So let me set it up as day and night time, 55 dB. Let's go back to the editor, so we have 95 decibels uh, day and night operation. We are assuming that the HVAC system, especially in the summer period, is also running at night time. So the first point is in. We can go to the next uh, point source. Um, so we go right here, click, 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 and another one, click. And we set them all up seven meters above the ground. So I can just drag it down so I'll have them all seven meters above the ground. At this point, uh, I uh, suggest to uh, turn off the bitmap and we can uh, review the project in a 3D view uh, just to make sure that uh, the project is consistent. So here we have the view and using the wheel of the mouse to rotate the whole thing. Um, we can rotate uh, the project so we have we can see that uh, the building of the building structure and then also the point sources. So that makes sense. Uh, vertical map is also sometimes a good view to really see kind of like, uh, are the heights uh, consistent in terms of the building and the elevation of the point sources on top of the, the building. Go back to site map. And this is uh, as far as this video goes.